Hey guys, Tony Smith with Denison Yachty. Today we are on board at 115 Benetti. She's a 2003, but has been retrofit several times. Really an awesome platform down here at the Miami International Boat Show. This is centrally listed with David Johnson. We're gonna look around at a few different things. She's a really lovely boat, has always been privately owned, was recently repainted, both the hull and the top side, and she'd be an ideal charter vessel. So we're gonna have a quick look around, five stateroom boat, asking is $4.9 million. So let's go ahead and walk through. Please follow me. Okay, so we're starting here on the aft cockpit area. What you're gonna see is we got a lot of seating area here. We've got a beautiful table. This table is a high-low and you got plenty of seating around here. Again, all the fabrics are very, very nice. You'll note we got nice stainless steel uh, around the lights here and really just a beautiful space. We're gonna head inside and check it out. So in the main part of the salon, what you're going to see is we have a really lovely space here. We've got a dedicated dining room table as well as a large entertaining area. As you'd see, the glass doors open all the way up to the outside and they are hydraulic. So this is a really, really nice space and a beautiful area for entertaining. We're going to step downstairs and then check out the cabins. Okay, so what you're gonna see here is we're at the base of the foyer down in the guest area. So both to port and starboard, we have matching cabins, each with a single berth. I'll have you take a quick look in here. Now what you see is you've got a really nice berth here, nice window space, and then these have a Pullman, so these can actually pull down and you'll, you'll be able to sleep three people in here. You'll note that we do have a dedicated ensuite head with a dedicated shower area. So very, very nice. And then we're gonna walk forward now. So walking forward in the guest accommodations, you know, both on port and starboard, we have these really elegant staterooms here. Note the beautiful woodwork, and this has really good air conditioning, just a lovely place to be. Upgraded televisions, and then again, a nice wardrobe here on the outside on both. And then uh, you'll note the really nice restroom there with a dedicated shower. So again, down here in the uh, guest staterooms, we have four staterooms, two mirroring with uh, twins, or two mirroring with queens, and then two mirrored with uh, singles. Okay, so next we're gonna move forward to the uh, on-deck master. So all the way forward here, you see we have a massive on-deck master. Really a nice situation here. So you got a full beam cabin, king size bed, or practically king size bed here. Uh, nice couch here. You've got a full walk-in closet here on the uh, port side. So nice walk in there. And then next we'll uh, show you here, we've got a LG TV, again, the whole boat, all the staterooms have upgraded television. And really note all the beautiful woodwork. Again, the boat would function ideally for a charter vessel, but she has never actually been chartered before. So very, very nice. And then over on the starboard side, you'll see we've got a uh, full large head area with a bidet and then really a lovely shower area in there. So next, as we walk through this hallway area, I wanna show you, we do have large uh, closet slash hanging lockers here. So this is really a full liveaboard type of boat. Over on the starboard side, we do have a day head. And then next we're gonna walk up one level to the Sky Lounge. 
Let's go ahead and take a look at the helm area here. So here in the helm, you'll see we've got uh, multiple camera systems, upgraded uh, multi-function displays, we've got our radar, all of our navigation systems, and everything's Furuno. This area does have uh, your engine controls, MTU engine controls here, um, as well as your uh, uh, bow, and bow and stern uh, thrusters and stabilizer. Really nice commanding uh, captain's chair here. And then you'll note uh, all of the electronics, ship diagrams, and then they also have this set up uh, as an office. And one, one thing that I like about this is you do have a bench seat here either for crew or for the owners or uh, guests so they can see what's going on. Really great visibility. And then both on the port and the starboard, you have large waterproof doors. And this is access is forward to a Portuguese bridge. So let's walk back to the bridge deck. Okay, so in the bridge deck, we've got this uh, sky lounge area. And there we're going to walk outside here. So again, you'll see we've got our area here for our El Fresco dining. Really nice setup. We have a fold out table here as well. So we could actually dine probably 16 people here. And then just after this, we have our uh, additional lounge area. And you see we've got molded in seating and cushions. Up top, we've got a, a nice canopy area there to provide you some sun protection. But this is really nice. So this is uh, the bridge deck that we're on right now. We're gonna head up and look at the sun deck next. Okay, so up here on the sun deck, one of the main features is the jetted jacuzzi tub here. Really lovely. You know, you get the teak treads to go into that. On the port side, you have uh, some seating area there. In the aft, we have uh, two uh, sunshades there, as well as uh, five chase lounge seats. Over on the starboard side here, we've got refrigeration and a wet bar. Then moving forward, you'll note we've got this big forward-facing seating here. Really great. You can lounge and kind of lay out here. And then you've got uh, your teak the whole way around the jacuzzi area. Okay, next we're gonna head downstairs to the uh, bridge deck area again. Okay, so here in the Sky Lounge area, what you're gonna see, we've got a really lovely uh, wet bar set up here with a dedicated area for stemware. Over on the starboard side, we've got some U-shaped seating. And then on the uh, port, we've got a large television there. Really just a great entertaining area. So we're gonna step downstairs and uh, try to check out the crew quarters area. And here's our day head as well for the Sky Lounge. The main galley area and what you'll notice it's completely separate we got a crew mess area here and then we'll just take one quick shot forward of this is the uh, crew accommodations and you guys have three state rooms four state rooms down below excellent thank you, thank you. okay so we're here on the uh, port side of the boat and what you know we got a nice weather deck on both the port and starboard again this is our access here into the uh, galley and the crew accommodations and we're going to step up notice the beautiful teak treads as well as we've got a really nice handhold here and this brings us up to the uh, portuguese bridge so here on the portuguese bridge again this is very nice because we can access the uh, the helm area there and then stepping down center line we do have uh, great steps here and then you'll note on both sides port and starboard we do have some really nice uh, sun cushions laid out okay three steps down we have access to this lower area 
which normally is what the crew would access to uh, access the uh, ground tackle and things like that. On behalf of myself, Tony, and the rest of the team at Denison, thanks for checking out the 115 Benetti. If you're in the market for this boat, please feel free to reach out to David Johnson, the listing agent. Any of my VIP buyers looking for buyer side representation, please feel free to reach out directly at the information below.